Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook post in Canva. This is going to be a very easy process to follow. You're going to see as I get going, but in case you haven't gotten to test out Canva or maybe you are a Canva user and you would like to log in, I will leave my link down below where you can quickly get started with that. Or like I said, they do come with a free plan or a free trial for their pro upgrade. Let's begin. So what I did initially is just type in Facebook post so I can get plenty of templates. And this is where I would say at least 90% of the work is going to be done. Done. So I want to spend about a minute here just talking about this. I think one of the best ways of creating designs that you like is utilizing templates that already make it easier for you to create them, get up and running much quicker. For example, what you're going to want to do is search for something that maybe not really the colors are different. The colors don't really need to match your brand, so to speak, or what you had in mind, because those are easy to change. But the layout is what's going to make your life so much easier. For example, I did pick this one. I'm going to do two examples just to show you. I like the simplicity. You can easily edit the picture and obviously the text and the font if needed. The same goes with a lot of other ones like this. For example, say you like this where you just want a little picture here. It's going to be very easy to kind of change around the colors of the background and not too much more to edit. For example, if you wanted to create something like this from scratch, it's going to take you a lot longer. That's why I always recommend utilizing templates, whether it's for designs or even like landing pages or anything similar to that. They're really there to help you get up and running much quicker, and that's a good thing. So just kind of quickly scrolling through like something like this, very easy to edit, right? You know, just put in your text, change around the colors, something like that as well. Reminders, did you know, and they have a lot of good things here like promotion. So if you're doing business stuff, if you have a super sale, some of these you don't even really need to edit too much. And this is going to be the other one I have when it comes to using a testimonial. So those are going to be my two examples. And I wanted to spend some time here just to kind of give you an idea of that. Go with something that you already want to use. And then all you have to do is make minimal edits. So here's the first one. We have our white simple coffee quotes Facebook post. Depending on what you want to post for a Facebook post, that's going to be up to you. But all we need to do here is obviously edit the person on the right and of course the quote if that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to go to my uploads and here is a picture of me, which I can just pretty much throw in here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Sure. And what I also want to do is flip it because it looks like this side. Oh, let's, well, first, let's see what I want to do is set it right here. Now, if I go to edit photo or excuse me, position, let's go backward once. Perfect. So now we have it kind of behind that exactly where we want. And as expected, you're going to notice my face is being covered. So we want to flip this horizontally since we're still clicked on it. Let's click on flip. Let's do horizontal. And that's perfect. You'll notice that the arm actually goes very perfectly with that. We can also change it around, make sure it's centered, make sure like my hair is not cut off or something like that, or make it a little lower. That's up to you. That's some OCD stuff. Okay. So we've got that down. That's great. I like that little cut off in the middle. Now, of course, we have our quote. Let's just highlight all of this. All right. And this is why I'm not a motivational guy. <laughs> This is the first thing that came up off the top of my head. May you be as awesome as you know you are and then multiply that awesomeness by 100, okay? I'm just so inspirational, okay? Marketing island, you know, whatever it's going to be. And we can change this around. We can make it bigger. We can edit the font. We can move this up, make sure it's centered. You know, this is going to be where we can change this around if needed. Like this is the easy stuff for you to edit. I'm not going to go through them. You probably know how to, you know, change around text. But if you notice... This took a few seconds. Uh, okay, not a few seconds. I'm exaggerating there, but I did have to kind of like slow it down and show you what to do here. But overall, it's so much easier when you get a template and then just plug in the things you need. The things you need might be your picture, of course, and then of course the text, and then you just change it around a little. So I think you get the idea with that one. Let's go to the next one. So this is a retro trendy testimonial for Facebook. Once again, here I go. Let's plug me in. I think this is the one where I drop it in. It's going to automatically fit. And you're going to be like, well, that, that doesn't look right. And you're right. <laughs> it does not look right. So what I want to do here is uh, click on that and then edit photo. And what we can do is crop. In case you're not curious or not curious, in case you didn't know how to do this, all you need to do is click on the crop button. And just like that, we can change it around so it's a much better picture. So it fits better. So my head isn't cut off. After that, we can do done. And just like that, we have a picture in there. We have a border. Obviously, I could like flip it around if needed, but I think that looks pretty good. We have our testimonial. Let's double click this. The best ever. Okay. There we have it. Can change this around. Marketing Island. Sure. Scroll up. 
and just like that. I know it's simple. I know it's like not the the most professional thing in the world, but once again, this comes from just picking the template that we liked. In my opinion, this isn't the best tes uh, testimonial background ever, but like I said, it's all about, I think I've come back to this probably like five or six times, picking the template that you want and then just making some tweaks here and there. So in my opinion, that's one of the best ways of creating a Facebook post. Really what you're doing is leveraging the work of the templates that Canva gives you, editing the minor details or the important details, and of course, making some tweaks from there. So I hope you got some value out of this. The main idea is that it allows you to get up and running very quickly, making minimal changes. And in my opinion, that's one of the best ways of utilizing software because it just saves you so much time, effort, and even money sometimes as opposed to outsourcing it to someone else. That about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said, it is very simple, but simple usually works very well. If you want to test out Canva, I will leave that link down below where they come with a free plan and of course, a free trial for their upgraded plan. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.